Hey guys, welcome back to another Project Zomboid video. So basically, we've been doing really well. I'll just walk you through what I've set up quickly uh, just off camera. Uh, I put a few more planks of the upstairs area. You can see them just here. And I harvested just a tiny bit more wood, not much. I also made two quick crates out here underneath. And I've put all the soups and things in one. So basically, noodles go in a bowl to make a bowl of noodles and the beans and soup. And I've put all the just spices and lighters and stuff in the other one. And we've got our campfire here, which will be undercover soon enough. So this is going to be like a little cooking area. And I thought, I've read the level four farming skill book. So we're getting multiplied times 12. I'm thinking in an effort to speed this up, uh, now we're just going to just make rows of farming lands and just really going for it because uh, there's less chance that they get diseases now uh, because we've got a higher farming skill and on top of that oh I didn't realize well it makes sense you get tired from farming um, it also is just going to be quicker to try and get this farming skill right up so obviously you have to wait till you can harvest um, with things like uh, well with farming so we're going to stick with the cabbages because they're super quick to grow and just really pump them out now um, and then maybe once we're to level four in fact i could even do it this time just have some tomatoes or something a bit different up the back um, just because this poor character has been eating nothing but cabbages for ever now so let's let's do something different along here you may as well. I mean, the more plants, the merrier. It means more points for us. So let's put something different here. And why not? Let's even put something different here. So we'll do cabbages in the big patch. And but no tomatoes. What else is... We get tomatoes. I don't really care at this stage. I just want to get this skill cranking. So... Let's start souring some seeds. So we'll just put cabbages in all these. Nice and easy. Uh, the reason I've gone two rows uh, deep, wide, yeah, wide, let's say, is so I can easily walk around them. So remember, if you walk on top of garden patches, it can actually damage them, which we don't want. That would be sad. Sad for the cabbages. Not so much for me. It doesn't really bother me too much, but hey, hey. Yes, there we go. Uh, another reason I keep doing cabbages is I just have a ridiculously large amount of seeds for them. So, so quick and lots of seeds equals win. So, getting all these in. Okay, and now this awesome watering can, which I recommend you find one. They're just fantastic. Okay, so 35... Let's see, let's bring up the info. So cabbages seem to need 85 to get started well. All right, so we'll info the next one. All right. Beautiful. So, oops, I should info it. There we go. And have I just run out of water? Yep. So, probably I could even make some more of these higher level rain barrels I mean even just with these I haven't really worried about water so far I've had plenty to drink and makes gardens but perhaps if we're going to start making more gardens the water supply or demand is about to go up so let's see was I on that one yeah so we need another 20 sweet the only reason I'm infoing it, like I know how much to put, but I just want to make sure I'm putting it on the right one. Because if you you can actually damage plants from overwatering them too. There we go. The good thing is you don't need to water them much, like between the rain and all that. The main thing is just to water them good the first time you put them in. Ah. This is being really fidgety. 
Maybe this one in the corner is not going to work. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's better. There we go. 20. Is it empty again? Rats. Okay. Oh no, the barrel's getting empty. Panic in the streets. So, as I just suspected, I think these increased water demands here is going to be problematic for us. We may have to get those extra barrels going. Why is this being so annoying? Oh, there we go. Okay, 35. Alright, I might... No. I'll put it on camera and you can just skip ahead uh, a minute or so. I'll do the next plants as well. And then, you know, some of you might want to see it. Some of you might not. It's up to you. Okay. Kill 60, 25. And it seems like I'm out of water. Is there any left in this barrel? Ooh. It seems to have quite a lot of water, even if it's not showing water. Which is kind of cool. I thought that they should implement compost into this game. So they have fertilizer. Like, you can find these massive heavy sacks of fertilizer, but if you're growing all this, like, cabbages and stuff, and they go rotten, like, within a couple of days, like, it would make sense if you could just put them on a fertilizer pile. That's what I think, anyway. I think it would make sense. Okay. And, like I was saying, we've got this wicked light out here. And if you turn it on... Oh no, it didn't just go flat, did it? Oh, no way, it's gone flat. No way. I was going to just put the light on to show you because it's so good at night time. Let's go. I think I've got some more batteries in here. Yeah, four. Sweet. That's a shame the other one ran out. Oh. This is one thing I don't think is a renewable resource in this game. Um, is batteries. Cool. Look how well it lights up this area at night. So sweet. So, I didn't mean for it to face that way, but it actually works pretty, really well. So, I think I just finished that one. Yep, cool. Okay, so let's put the spare batteries in. Oh, just this box. No, it's a planning box. Okay, we'll just put them in this random box. I'll sort this out later. Worms. I'm finding a lot of worms. Worms are for fishing. Which, you need to be near, like, a lakey sort of part. Which I don't have. Okay. Anywho. What else could we grow? So we've done cabbages. Let's do something cool. Let's do tomatoes. They're a bit different. Alright, how many packs? Let's get one, two. Open them up. Sweet. Okay, so let's sell some tomatoes this time. Oh wow, you even get the uh, little you know, what are they, trellises, stakes, whatever you want to call them. And you probably know the right name and are yelling at your screen going, Happy days. They're called this, man. Lots to go. Seriously, how can you not know? Sticky things. Expert farmer, I am. Now, let's click the info thing. I'm not sure how much water they actually need. So I know cabbages need 85. So I think it's... So like, I've, I read on the forums that when you do like carrots, they should be like just under fine. So you actually need to not water every type of plant all the way. So let's, let's get this one up with info. Okay, let's give it 50. Okay, it's still in the red there. It doesn't like that. Let's go 20. No. Or maybe 85 is the same for all of them. Okay. 
So it says they're pretty sweet. Well, let's do 85 for all of them and see what happens. And if they all die, then 85 is too much. Cool. Okay. Man, this is a bit fiddly. Let me click it. 30, 80, and 5. Info. I'm realizing this game is becoming like farming simulator rather than. You wouldn't even know there's zombies around at the moment. It's probably a bit of an issue of the game. Like, obviously, I'm pretty safe in here. I think when they uh, add NPCs finally. Whoops. When they finally add these NPCs they've been talking about, like, I would assume they NPCs would search. Because if they find a man made structure, they're probably gonna have a look and see what's going on. And you can imagine if you're in, like, zombie apocalypse and you saw, like, this cool little setup like we've got, they're probably gonna come in and be like, hey man, what's going on? You got, uh, you got a lot of stuff? And we've got these shotguns and we're going to take it. So, I don't know how they're going to implement it, but it would add a really cool thing to the game. Because obviously, this is pretty safe from zombies at the moment. As I said, you wouldn't even know there's zombies in the game. Ah! Click it! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> click the tomatoes. How do you do it? Fiddly context menu for the lose. Oh my gosh. How do you do it? Yes, I just stomped on them. Alright, maybe I'll just leave that one. I don't care that much. Okay, what is it? After midnight. We were having so much fun farming, I stayed up past midnight. Said no one ever. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Alright, we'll go to sleep. And we've got tomatoes. What else could we put next to it? Tomatoes. How about strawberries? Strawberries sound pretty cool. Some nice stuff to go with the cabbages. Actually, what would make better soup? Strawberries, no. Can't put strawberries in soup. Well, you could, but yuck. I don't know. Is strawberries good in soup? I wouldn't think so. Alright. Okay, and my character's getting a bit hungry. Let's just eat some peanut butter. Makes everything good. You have to sit there, eat a whole jar of peanut butter. That uh, sounds like fun. Okay, so, new day. Let's pick our last, last thing we're gonna put in. Oh, I put them in the wrong box, whoops. Okay. Oh, potato would probably be good. Potato's hard to... A bit boring, though. What else is there? Broccoli. Oh, I do like broccoli. Hmm. And we have grown broccoli before. Although broccoli's pretty slow. Yeah, let's do potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Alright, sorry, I was quoting uh, Lord of the Rings there. Alright. Let's make potatoes. Oh, actually, it was just giving info. What's this? Min water, 65. Average grow time, 17 days. 17 days! Holy moly. Oh, radishes are quick. Seven days. Man, I'm growing the wrong stuff here. I don't want to do potatoes. They take too long. Dig them out. Get them. Get them. You're out, potatoes. You lose. So obviously, guys, we don't want to be waiting, like, you know, weeks in-game for stuff to grow. That's, like, too long. Okay. Potatoes, you're out. I think radishes said they were pretty quick, didn't they? Carrots said four days, but... Mm, carrots. Actually, carrots are good in stew, though. Hang on. How many packs? One, two... All right. Let's try the old carrot. Okay. We'll open the packets... I've heard carrots are hard to grow though, so we'll see what happens. Alright, chucking in the carrots. So they need 35 to 65 water. 
so you can overwater these things. So they hardly want any water. Okay. So I'm probably going to water them to 50, and the reason is if it rains, like the rain's going to like fully kill it, and we don't want that, do we? Oh man, the fence is like the fence is getting in the way. Okay, carrots, beautiful. Seems like you have to stand right on the corner of these and like, yeah, just click it in the sweet spot to get the context menu to come up, which is not at all annoying. Okay, we've got the carrots in. Let's see if I can I'll try and click this tomato again because it's going to die. Ah, oh, yes. Hello. I got you. And now you've gone again. Info. Hello. No, no info. Okay, it's gonna die. Oh man, come on. Hey, was it info? What are you doing to me, man? No, I want info. Am I doing something wrong here? Where's the info boxes? They're not coming up. Can you see them? I can't see them. Hey, hey. Info. No info. Info. Doesn't even look like it's watering. Hmm, I don't know. Alright, I'll cut the video here and I'll have a play around off camera and see if I can get it working again. But as you can see, we've got a nice farming setup going on. So hopefully we can speed up this farming, get it up to five. And carpentry is going to finish itself soon enough. So I hope this has uh, been good for you still. Uh, we've almost got our farming underway. Next video, I'll probably make some rain barrels inside, maybe along this fence up here, and really up our rain water production to try and get it where we don't have to use any containers in the house. Okay, don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know what you want to see more of. Subscribe if you haven't yet. You know these videos are awesome. Hang with us. I'm really open to you guys getting involved and telling me what you want to see more of. And uh, I'll see you next time. This happy day, signing out. See ya.